Good day everyone. I am Nicole Bonita and together with me is Alexa Dumanon and we will be reporting about bird flu, one of the known communicable diseases. So the objectives for this topic is to first define and describe the communicable disease bird flu. Second is to learn about the source of infection, incubation period, mode of transmission, and signs and symptoms of bird flu. Third is to determine how to prevent bird flu. And last is to determine the level of nursing care required for infected patients. Now, what is bird flu? Bird flu or avian influenza is an infectious disease of birds ranging from mild to severe forms of illness. All birds are thought to be susceptible to infection with avian influenza, though some species are more resistant to infection than the others. Some forms of bird flu infections can cause illnesses to humans. It is due to a highly pathogenic influenza virus, which is the H5NI subtype that has been shown to be transmitted from infected poultry to humans. Now, there are two forms of disease in birds. The first form causes mild illness, which birds who have this form usually stop eating, have labored breathing, head swelling, discharge from their eyes or nose, and diarrhea. Sudden death is also common in this form. However, on the second form, it is considered as a highly pathogenic avian influenza, which is extremely contagious and rapidly fatal. Birds who have this form can die on the same day that symptoms first appear. Bird flu in the Philippines. On August 11, 2017, the Department of Agriculture confirmed that the avian influenza or bird flu outbreak was in Pampanga, a 1-kilometer quarantine zone and a 7-kilometer surveillance zone were put up in response to this outbreak. Almost 600,000 birds were killed in San Luis, Pampanga and in San Isidro and Jean in Nueva Ecija. However, the bird flu crisis then ended on September 2, 2017. Now, the source of infection. Bird flu occurs naturally in wild waterfowl and can spread in domestic poultry, such as chickens, turkeys, ducks, and geese. This disease is transmitted via contact with infected bird feces or secretions from its nose, mouth, or eye. The average incubation period usually lasts for 2 to 4 days. Susceptibility, resistance, and occurrence. This disease can affect any bird, but domestic poultry flocks are particularly sensitive to infections that can quickly spread to epidemic proportions. For humans, in some cases, Bird flu can cause serious complications and death, as with seasonal flu. Some people are at high risk for serious illness, and these include the pregnant women, people with weakened immune system, and adults over 65 and older. So the following are the signs and symptoms that a person with bird flu may experience. First is fever. Then, body weakness or muscle pain, cough, sore throat, sore eyes, and lastly, difficulty in breathing. So there are two control measures in birds. First is the rapid destruction, culling or stamping out of all infected or exposed birds, proper disposal of carcasses, and quarantine, and rigorous disinfection of farms. Next is the restriction on the movement of live poultry. There are also preventive measures for humans or in humans. First, all workers directly or indirectly involved with handling live poultry should be given the current season's influenza vaccine to reduce the possibility of dual infection with humans and influenza. 
the Department of Health or DOH shall coordinate with vaccine suppliers on the yearly availability and reasonable cost of the influenza vaccines for humans, especially for those workers directly or indirectly involved in live poultry. Then, the yearly vaccination of poultry workers and or employees with regular or periodic direct contact with poultry shall be the expense of the employer. Then, persons not directly involved in taking care of poultry should avoid contact with chickens, dogs, or other poultry as much as possible. Children in any instance should be discouraged from handling poultry. And lastly, is to release an advisory on proper cooking or poultry should be observed. As student nurses, we must also be aware of what nursing care we should give to our patients. First, suspected or confined cases are given oseltamivir to reduce the severity of the illness. Patients will be isolated in designated hospitals using hospital referral network. Then, same principles of infection control applied to SARS will be observed. And lastly, early recognition of cases of highly pathogenic avian influenza HBAI during an outbreak among poultry. Now for the programs proposed by DOH or Department of Health, there were no further programs found about this disease. However, implementation of human avian flu surveillance management and infection control in the health setting was ordered by Secretary Pauline Jean Russell Ubiel to protect against bird flu transmission to humans during the outbreak in 2017. That will be all for our report on bird flu. Thank you for listening and we hope that you were able to learn something.